Wiltshire is a prosperous county, with a mix of urban and extensive rural areas. The largest town, Swindon, is a growing urban centre, where a high proportion of people are of working age. Together, Wiltshire and Swindon have a population of over 600,000 people, some of whom need help to overcome disadvantage. The Community Foundation is an independent charity dedicated to improving the lives of disadvantaged people in the region. It provides a vital link between donors and local groups, enabling causes to achieve far more than they could by themselves. The Foundation is able to assist a wide range of causes, from organisations supporting young people and working to develop communities, to groups supporting people with disabilities and older people. My name's Kate Morrison. I broke my hip when I was 13 and then I got diagnosed with MS in the year 2000. I had to have a hip replacement and as a result of that I was banned from riding horses. I'm Leo Shan. I got like into money problems and stuff like that so I kind of like did some silly things where I then decided to nick from the till basically and then come out on the wrong side. Among the many causes that the Community Foundation supports are the Kennet Valley Driving Group and the Earlstoke Social Enterprise Community Interest Company. The organisation offers qualifications and work-related training to offenders. The Kennet Valley Driving Group provides the opportunity for people with disabilities to ride horses and to drive horse-drawn carriages. The Community Foundation supplies us with vital resources so that we can fund the group, which gives the opportunity for able-bodied people and disabled people to come and experience driving. Whenever I tell anybody that I'm going driving and they look at me as if I'm a bit worried, thinking maybe I should stay off the road. No, it's horse carriage driving. It's fairly good, you know, it's better than alcohol or drugs. <laughs> I started off working for this company um, when I was on community payback, helping out doing woodwork and some of the garden preparation stuff like that, which obviously I've never done before, so I like intrigued me basically. I thought if I could set up a project which gives, which gives them the skills that when they actually leave prison or when they come in off community payback, they can use them skills to get work. The funding we received is, is helping in one in which to put disabled facilities in um, and enhancing a kitchen that we're building and put in a, a, a new workshop area. The money that's been granted to us has come in really useful. We've purchased a new horse who's behind me, which has enabled at least another three drivers to come and drive once a week with us. So it's been absolutely invaluable to us. What I get out mainly from the group is firstly getting out of the house and uh, getting some decent sunshine for a significant amount of time. I get the satisfaction of um helping someone else now because obviously I was in the same boat I know exactly how it, how it was I know how it felt so seeing someone else helping them out and doing stuff like that is just quite rewarding really. It's just lovely to meet people and talk to people and a number of them and now my, I consider my friends. Our drivers are drivers with disability rather than disabled drivers. It gives them self-esteem, confidence and therapy, and they all enjoy it hugely. So far we've had over 200 people come, come through in, in the last 12 months, whether, whether they've been through for a week or some of them have been here for six, seven months. We've put um, around about 78 people through courses, and the likes of Leroy are now teaching them courses. A lot of people gain stuff from this, so I think if it disappeared, I think a lot of people would be disappointed and obviously not a lot of people are getting anything anymore so hopefully it's never going to come to that. It would be horrendous if we, if we no longer had this group. It's the highlight of my week and it uh, brings a huge smile out on my face. I've been to a number of open days for the Community Foundation and I've been hugely impressed with all the organisations that are supported. I, I think they all do good jobs, but they do with them in an immense variety of different fields.